after weeks of arduous climbing, and just a bit of flying, I finally made it to the top of Mount Everest. Aha! There it is. Johnny Down Under? Who needs him? I'm an adventurer of my own. Now, time to crack it open and reap the reward. What's up YouTube, Orange Juice here, back at you with another video. Today, um, I'm doing a Lego Adventurers video. I expect more of these since I want to do videos of all of these sets. So, this bit here is just a hint of what's to come. I want to use all of these in videos. I mean, I used this in a video. I also used this in a video. But that was in a Ninjago video as it was doubling as the Destiny's Bounty. But I want to make videos of everything here. Anyway, that's, it's not about that. I managed to track down this sealed Lego Orient Expedition set from 2003 with Sam Sinister going into this like tomb thingy and I thought um, as it's very small I probably don't need a time lapse so I thought we can make it a chilled out video and I'll just um, talk as, as I build it just build it live on camera I thought that could be a laugh you know so if we take a look at this box right here it's very cool and yes, I'm going to be opening this sealed set. Survived 21 years, now it's me seeing its maker. Alright, so, do the full pull tab. No going back now. Uh, go back there. Here are the parts. I wonder if it still has that threat. Oh, it's mental having a sealed bag with old grey in it. Mental. Right. Let's see if that has that fresh bag smell. I don't know, it has been 21 years. Oh, fuck. It's got that old smell. Jesus. Alright. Let's get started. Huh. That's a bit odd. So Sam Sinister already has his head attached. That is a bit peculiar. God, but this is a sealed Sam Sinister minifigure. It's all sealed. I'm the first person ever to lay their hands upon it. So, let's go. I wonder how that happened. Now, honestly, now thinking about it. Yeah, how did I get a, How is his head attached when this hasn't been opened? And I'd be able to tell if someone had opened it and tried to fob me off with a... With an, uh, with an open one as a sealed set. So here um, we have Sam Sinister. There's been debates um, on Sam Sinister. Because he could be. Because um, back in 1998 when Lego Adventurers began, there were two villains. This guy, Sam Sinister. So you're probably thinking, oh, this is just an updated version of this guy, right? Makes sense. He looks similar enough. But no, no, no. Because also in that wave, there was Baron Von Baron. And you probably figure that's a bit odd, right? So we've got Baron von Baron, who ha so there's Sam Sinister with the black top hat, the the black the top hat and the name, as well as the goatee beard. Well, there's Baron von Baron, who um, has the hook hand, the monocle, the mustache with that shape to it, and then right in the centre you have the new Sam Sinister. So there's been debates. Clearly, he is meant to be him. The way I like, in my little series I've got going, I like, I'll, um, little spoiler alert for the future, for my little adventurous series, I'm going to portray these two as twin brothers, but yeah, so um, I do love um, the original Sam Sinister, but because of um, former Lego, they used to have very inconsistent naming, and it's all fine, but um, this, um, one way to avoid it is, according, um, my way of getting the characters not mixed up, this right here is Sam Sinister. This right here is Sly Boots. And this right here is Baron Von Baron. And they can all coexist like um, like Gandhi intended. But let's take a look at what else we get. So over here. Ooh. Oh. Next 
I think I got a little catalogue for what Lego's offering in 2003. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love that. I really like that. That is bloody excellent. And look at that. We got this um we got this um poster. Oh, that is so cool. That is great. I love stuff like that. I'd love getting things like that in your sets. Because it just makes it, it, it just proves that the people cared who made this. Because they didn't have to include a poster, but they did. And I love that. Honestly, this is this is great. This is great. Anyway, on to the build. So I'm guessing these here are the instructions. So we can get going with the build process. So we start with the sorry, I won't be able to get everything in shot, so I'm just gonna show the parts. The instructions are off camera. So start to instruct us to build Sam Sinister. Then a little skelly man. I love these old skeletons. I've never had one of these before, actually. One of these old flaily arm skeletons. Uh, I've had plenty of uh, modern type Lego skeletons, but none of these um yeah older ones. So just assemble him. Do 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 do. And this intimidating ass face that they used in this era for some reason. Yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. I like that. <laughs> I love these old skeletons. They're great. All right. Time to get started on the build. Get some of these old grey plates old light grey as well <laughs> and use it to connect them together and connect together um get this get this um let me know in the comments right it, um what you think of lego adventurers do you have any experience with the theme um and what's your favorite sub theme because out of the sub themes there was um yeah there was the original pharaoh theme um the egypt then there was the jungle with senor palomar there was also um dino island which is a bit more controversial and orient expedition which is uh, which is my personal favorite but yeah let me know what you think also let me know what you think of this guy the new jungle set the new lego city jungle sets with the return of johnny thunder that will 100 percent get a video of its own i just haven't gotten around to making it yet but I will give it its own video because I, I I am just I am just on that adventurers grind. So I've got plans that I want to make a bunch of adventurers content. So if you're a fan of that, um, stay tuned. And if you're not, well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> so um, got this. There's more parts to add on. I believe this um, right here. Parts I need next, which you can't see because you can't see the instructions. These, I believe, this is a discontinued color, light orange, somewhere between orange and yellow. I really like that. It's a cool looking color. If I had more of it, I'd um, use it in some custom creations. But you know what? Ho hum. No use complaining. But yeah. So, oh, comes with two pistols because that's one slightly, um, I like, I guess, infamous thing about adventurers. Is they are known for the amount of guns in the theme to be insane. Like, these guys aren't just digging treasure. They're out for each other's lives. <laughs> it's funny. It's meant to just be an archaeological dig. But it's it's just, yeah, they are trying to kill each other. They're trying to murk each other. But uh, you know what? It's fun. It's a, it's a bit of fun. Um, so I'm working on this here right now. Got these bits in place. And you just got to attach it on. And then it instructs me to add on my skeleton. So, alright. Just um, going along with the instructions. Lego instructions, God, these are cool instructions. Um, just taking a second, look at these instructions. They are, they are formatted to look like an old map that the crew would use which is just i love the attention and the commitment to the bit i think it's excellent i think um yeah adventurers they just don't make sets like this anymore granted this isn't me dissing new lego being like um a vintage is better kind of guy because you know um i like everything but i just gotta say they don't do stuff like this like they used to like old sets just had so much character to them i've got to say that just the character of them is insane. The, the minifigures felt more alive. 
than they do now. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, I, I mean, the builds are better than ever, but the, the, just the sheer imagination of this era is um, unmatched. So I'm just building this um, ornament. For anyone who wants to watch a better video on this Lego set, watch the video by RR Slugger, who made a video on this set which I watched, which is very nice. Um, it's a lot more formatted than this. This is just a casual, this is just a casual build video with me talking shit over the top. But yeah, I believe it is complete. So, it is complete. Let's um, let's reorient the camera and then get to a little review segment. So now I'm back um, with a little less of a cluttered setup. You know, it's just so we can focus a little bit better. Here I've got the set itself. This is a little tomb with um, something up here. So, but you're thinking, Sam Sinister's like, hey, hello, Johnny. I'm going to get this um, artifact before you. You know why? Because I'm Sam Sinister. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to do that, what you do is you flick on this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe you have to open this first, then. Wah! All right, so, so Sam Sinister, he's like, oh, let's open this up. <laughs> open it up and then. Next let's get a slow motion replay of that. Overall, I have positive thoughts on this set. I managed to get mine sealed, which is half the appeal. Just building this um, sealed, and I'll be honest, half the reason was I needed another Sam Sinister for my collection, because um, one of mine I had to um, I had to designate to a mock I'm working on. Yeah, a custom creation, which I will not disclose right now, because this is not finished. I thought I could also do a skeleton, so sadly I'm gonna have to borrow this little dude for another creation. But, um, it, the experience was great, I really enjoyed that, it was a good bit of fun. I paid around £18 for mine, which, I will say, um, I got mine sealed. I don't know if it's worth going sealed with this kind of thing. I went sealed with mine, and I enjoyed the experience, but it really depends. So if you're going sealed, I'd say around £20 is a good price to pay. But if you're not going sealed, I'd say around £8, really. That's the most I'd be willing to spend for it, um, for it used. But yeah, it really depends on how much you value the experience. Do you see it as an experience or do you see it as an investment or do you see it as whatever? Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, a little bit more casual on this video, but you know, not every video has to be highly edited. I might make a skit at the beginning. If there is one, there is. If there isn't, there isn't. I don't know. Um, it depends what I'm doing tomorrow, if I have, to, I have time to do it. But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun making it, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.